In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a really big gummy bear. With this, that I will have the link in the description where you can get this. Jello, uh, whatever kind you want. There's also Jolly Rancher if you want that kind of thing. You need this. It's called gelatine, or gelatine, or whatever you prefer. It's uh, just something to make the gumminess more gummy. It's in the description also. You need something sharp and pointy to get the back off this thing so you can mold it up. And parental supervision, kids. You know who I'm talking to. For now, all we're going to be needing is our sharp and pointy tool. This is my sharp and pointy tool. And the screwdriver. And this thing, just in case things get ugly. Go ahead and speed this video up. going to be so now that you've got your gummy bear with no back we can start working on the actual kind of hard part the jello okay guys so now might be a fairly good time to wash out the inside of your gummy bear all right guys so now that we have our gummy bear all cleaned out we're gonna grab a measuring cup so now what you want to do is find some very cold water. I'm going to pour in half a cup of cold water. All right, that's about half a cup. Now, We will be pouring in half a cup of corn syrup. So. Now grab some kind of kitchen utensil to mix it around a little bit until it's completely mixed together. We'll go ahead and pour all of this into the pot. And now, we're gonna get our jello and gelatin and pour that in there with it. We're gonna grab one, the, uh, we're gonna first start out with the orange jello and two packs of gelatin. Now, I've actually found it a little easier just to use one, but um, if you want it more kind of stiff candy, then we're gonna use two. So we're just gonna use two for this one just because um, we're making such a big object and we don't want it to fall over on itself. So, we'll go ahead, the stove on. Don't put the stove on yet. Okay, so now we're gonna take our jello and pour it in there with the gelatin, the two packs of gelatin. this until it's extremely clear. Why is it this focusing? Okay, so for me, it's not getting any less chunky for some reason. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on the skillet and uh, start going. All right, so just keep it at a nice simmer until you start to, it's probably gonna be about uh, five minutes, uh, but you have to stir during these five minutes. All right guys, so now when you go like this and it bubbles down here, that's when you know you're finished. So now I'm going to stir really fast and then I'm gonna transport it. All 
Alright, so now I'm going to wait a couple of minutes until all of the bubbles have coagulated together at the top. Um, once they have, I'm just going to be able to scrape them all off. Alright guys, so it's just been 10 minutes. I'm going to take this bubbly stuff on top. Um, yeah, we're going to take this bubbly stuff off by doing this. Just use a fork, okay? Use a fork. Off of there. So now you're gonna, now what this is gonna do, gummy bear is gonna look spotless. Gummy bear with the least amount of bubbles on the side you're pouring with. Look at that perfection, guys. Nobody's gummy bear will be this gummy bear. All right, I'm gonna come back once I've gotten the next batch done. So now we've got our gummy bear completely full. It has been two full batches. That is so much jello and so much time. It took me forever to do this. So now we have this, and I'm actually gonna try to get as much of the cruddy looking stuff off so that we can have a nice clear gummy bear. Uh, in a couple hours. Okay guys, so this gummy bear is going to take a while, but it's been in there for quite a while. So we're going to go ahead and try and see whether or not, figure out whether it's ready or not, is not tap it with your fingers, because if you do that, then it'll stick to your finger and pull like the thing and maybe just destroy your gummy bear if it's like completely not formed so um why don't we grab a toothpick because it's got a smaller surface area on the tip and we can just tap it and see if it moves around or how it's going to react just put it in the freezer to get it ahead on the cooling time because i kind of have to go to bed soon it's really late it's like it's like one in the morning right now so i need to bear. it is Got a really nice texture. It's moving around, so it's not completely ready yet. But you can see how much it sticks to the tip of this thing. So, definitely for your gummy bear recipe, make the use the gelatine. Uh, like you lose like two packs of the gelatine at least, okay? Because so, you really don't want a gummy bear that collapses on itself when you try to touch it. It is completely finished, but I really have to figure out how to get it out. They're all going to be Amazon links, so you can just go on there and order from Amazon, and all these things would probably be there in a couple days. I have to have some patience with this. It takes a while, um, whether you want to hear it or not. It's going to, it'll take you um, probably three hours. It took me quite a while. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.